Right now, Saudi Arabia is in the middle of a big construction phase, working on huge projects like Oxagon, Trojana, The Line, and now the Jeddah Tower. The Jeddah Tower's construction has been on hold for more than five years, and there are now indications that its construction might finally resume. Now the question is, why now? What has changed? And why is Dubai already planning to build a taller structure? Well, stick with us to the end as we provide answers to these questions and more. So with that said, let's dive in. You see, the Jeddah Tower is set to be the first human-made structure to stand one kilometer tall. It's Saudi Arabia's way of trying to beat the Burj Khalifa, which has been the world's tallest building for more than 10 years. The Jeddah Tower might even go 180 meters higher than the current record if it's only a kilometer above the ground. While the initial announcement indicated a minimum height of 1,000 meters, the actual height remains a closely guarded secret. Early interviews with the architect hinted at the possibility of it reaching closer to a mile or 1,600 meters, doubling the current record. Doubts have been raised about the feasibility of such a colossal building following soil testing on the site, leaving the exact height unknown until the project's completion. Once finished, the Jeddah Tower aims to host luxury residences, restaurants, offices, a Four Seasons hotel, and the world's highest observation deck. The creators envision this skyscraper as a means to propel the city of Jeddah onto the global stage, hoping to replicate the economic success that the Burj Khalifa brought to Dubai. Now let's talk about how they planned and built this tall tower. But before that, let's go back a few years to see how it all started. Designing a building as tall as a kilometer isn't an easy job. They had a competition where architects from all over the world competed to come up with the best design. Eventually, a guy named Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa and many other hyper-tall buildings, won the competition. Quite an impressive resume, right? Once they had the design, they needed someone to build it. A Saudi company called Bin Laden Group got the job and signed a contract worth $1.2 billion to start laying the foundations for the Jeddah Tower. Most of the money for this huge project comes from a company called Kingdom Holding Company, chaired by a Saudi prince named Al-Walid bin Talal. In 2013, after more than five years of planning and bidding, they finally started building. Things were going well, and by 2017, the main structure was already 252 meters tall, marking a big milestone. The foundation and piling work were done too, making it about a third of the way to completion. But then, in the same year, the owner of Kingdom Holding Company and the chairman of Saudi Bin Laden were both arrested as part of a big crackdown in Saudi Arabia. This messed things up for the Jeddah Tower because it's a private project depending on the financial support of a few people. The arrests hurt the project a lot. In 2018, labor issues with a contractor forced all construction work to stop. And just two years later, the COVID-19 pandemic hit, making it impossible for construction to start again. So the project faced some tough challenges. Now, after more than five years of complete silence, they recently announced in September that they're finally going to continue building the Jeddah Tower. The people in charge of the project are now looking for a new company to take over from the Bin Laden Group. They've invited companies from Saudi Arabia, China, Korea and Europe to send in their offers for the job. These companies have about three months to come up with their plans, so we can expect to know who the new contractor will be by the end of the year if everything goes smoothly. So, what actually prompted its resumption? Well, even though we don't know the exact reason for restarting the project, we can make some educated guesses based on what we know. First off, the world is slowly getting back to normal after dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Health rules and restrictions have eased up compared to 2020 to 2022 when it was impossible to restart the construction. Now that the guidelines are not as strict, construction companies can bring in full teams of workers again. Another likely reason could be about the country's reputation. The Jeddah Tower is meant to be Saudi Arabia's response to Dubai's Burj Khalifa, aiming to be the tallest building globally. If they had stopped the project indefinitely, it would have reflected poorly on the country and been a big embarrassment. Also, there's a broader plan in play. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's Saudi Vision 2030, even though the government isn't directly building the Jeddah Tower, the goals align. 
They want to create a ton of jobs and show the world that Saudi Arabia is a major player in business and culture. If construction goes smoothly, they might finish the tower right on time for the new decade. It's worth noting that the Jeddah Tower, impressive as it is, is just a part of a larger mega project called the Jeddah Economic City. The Jeddah Economic City is a huge project that aims to bring life back to the port city known for its resorts and historic areas. It's strategically placed by the Red Sea and just north of the King Abdulaziz International Airport. They're planning to make it a big deal, a top spot for tourists, a religious center and an economic hub in the near future. This project covers a massive 5.2 square kilometers and is expected to cost around $20 billion. Private investors and loans from Saudi banks are putting up most of the money at the heart of this city will be the Jeddah Tower, a gigantic skyscraper that'll stand as a symbol of Saudi's engineering and economic abilities. They're already making good progress on the first stage of the city. Recent reports say that the road network and landscaping work are almost 90% done. Despite the issues with the arrest of the project's owner and main financial backer, Prince Al Walid bin Talal, the Jeddah economic city seems to be going strong. Once they finish the basic stuff like foundations and services, the city can start leasing plots of land for different developers and companies to begin their projects. The first phase alone is expected to create about 30,000 jobs for Saudis and foreign workers. When it's all done, the city will have a cool skyline with plans for at least 200 mixed-use skyscrapers around the central Jeddah Tower. It'll be split into three parts, a residential area, a financial zone and a modern version of Al Balad, Jeddah's historic district. The Jeddah economic city is set to become a major economic, religious and academic hub for the country, kind of like how Dubai is for the UAE. This move is making Saudi Arabia a serious player on the world stage. So with all this buzz about the Jeddah Tower, what does it really mean for Dubai? First off, imagine you're in Dubai. You've been proudly holding the title of having the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, for 14 years. Now your neighbor Saudi Arabia is about to snatch that record with the Jeddah Tower. Not the best news for Dubai, right? Losing the title might affect their tourism and economy, especially since the Burj Khalifa played a big part in making Dubai what it is today. Now here's the interesting part. Dubai also had plans for the Dubai Creek Tower to beat the Jeddah Tower. But there's a catch. The Creek Tower doesn't count as a skyscraper because less than half of its height is livable space. So, even if it becomes the tallest structure ever, the record for the tallest building might still go to Saudi Arabia. Funny enough, just as Saudi Arabia announces the Jeddah Tower's comeback, Dubai says they're thinking of changing their tower's design. It's like a race. When one starts again, the other might follow suit. This isn't new. Back in 2017, when the Jeddah Tower stopped, Dubai's project got delayed too. Now these towers might kickstart a competition worldwide to build taller and taller structures. If one finishes, you can bet the other will try to top it. And who knows, maybe in a few decades, a one kilometer tall building won't be as mind-blowing as it is right now. Things change, right? So what are your thoughts on the Jeddah Tower? Do you believe they'll actually finish it this time? Drop your comments below and share your opinion. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.